So Jack is the name that we've given to a botnet and a piece of investigation we've done into that botnet over the last six months. Jacko is a worldwide botnet that has around 19,000 victims within it, centered on South Korea and Japan in both language, time zone and uh, location. The targeting of the victims is quite interesting. Uh, it's twofold. The vector, as we like to call it, for them becoming infected is from the malware we've seen, a poison BitTorrent technique. Bad code, malware, is put onto BitTorrents where people download them. The other part of the equation is that these victims, 75% of them, are running versions of Windows that appear to be unlicensed. So these are the infrastructure that is going to be used in some form of attack later, either on like-minded individuals to those or our infrastructure so the best will in the world when we have all our defenses in place where those attacks are coming from are these thousands of botnet victims uh, that are out there clustered into resilient pieces of infrastructure for the bad guys to use so why should the corporates be concerned about jacku the lessons that we've learned from jacku are that there are thousands of victim computers that are sitting in waiting that can be used unwittingly to perform DDoS attacks and spear phishing attacks and spam campaigns and other forms of organized crime behavior that, that, uh, that can be pointed at any one of our corporate infrastructures. On a smaller scale, some of those victims that we've seen are within the corporate space themselves. It only takes one or two weak links. And finally, the level to which these botnet controllers, the people that are operating this have gone to, clearly indicates that they see value in what they're doing. In the report, there's a great deal of detail on those command and control systems and the targeting they've done on how much effort they have gone to to create a resilient infrastructure. More details are in those that report. I can't explain it here now, but go and read the report if you're interested in knowing how these botnets are actually working.